We offer sh usually short-term treatment um, because we never know how long people are going to be on the island. My name is Christine Ruffner. I'm a clinical psychologist. So I'm here to supervise the mental health activities that are happening in the Lesbos Project. So we have Greek psychologists um, who are, and myself who are seeing the refugees that come to us either just by walking in the door or they're referred to us from other organizations. I would say the primary needs are anxiety and depression, in short, um, linked to having left their homeland, not having access to any of the coping that they used to have, being separated from their families, and then being here and not knowing how long they're going to be here, uh, not fully understanding the asylum process um, and, and what the future looks like. I don't know how you hope for a future that you don't know what it looks like. What we do as clinical psychologists is provide education. Um, some people come from countries where sexual assault is almost the norm. I hate to even say that, but I, I've just been told it's true from my colleagues who, who work in other countries that it's so common that it happens there. So, so reminding and, and teaching our patients that's not, that's not a way to live, that's not a way to be treated. Um, but as, an, as a psychologist, you're often on the receiving end of problems that have already happened. Um, so it's our health promotion team and other teams that would do informational sessions about um, prevention. Uh, for women, we see a lot of women. I'd have to look at the breakdown, but I, I think we see equal levels of, of females and males. Um, women, of course, we see sexual and gender-based violence, but we also see that in the men. Um, I've been struck by how often we see males who um, are survivors of, of sexual, and sexual violence, either in their home countries or along the journey. Yeah, from what I understand, most people go from here to Athens, and MSF has a lot of services in Athens. So if we can, we always try to provide people with the next step. So continuity of care is very important to us. I think many people, from what I've heard anecdotally, is they get to Athens, and then it's not this beautiful land of milk and honey that they were expecting. It's difficult there, too. Um, they can't necessarily work. They might have difficult living conditions. They're also isolated. So it's important that they have access to mental health care there. So we have other projects that provide mental health services there, and we do our best to connect them. Because I'm in the middle of it, I'm still like making sense of it and like how this fits into my life, into my career, into who I am as a person, as a psychologist, as an MSF worker, as an American. It's really like an ongoing process that I'm learning about since I've been here of how do I make sense of this and how do I process it like on a personal level.